The Princeton Plasma Physics Laboratory expects to generate new science with planned upgrades to an experimental fusion reactor. A recent decision by the U.S. Energy Department gave the National Spherical Taurus Experiment a new lease on life. Science and technology correspondent Patrick Regan reports. Fusion reactors are extreme machines designed to join atomic nuclei together, producing energy much the way stars do. The charged gas or plasma in which the fusion reaction takes place at temperatures hotter than the center of the sun is confined by powerful magnets. This lab was home to the biggest magnetic confinement reactor in the U.S., the Tokamak Fusion Test Reactor, or TFTR, a smaller reactor called NSTX. The National Spherical Taurus Experiment came online in 1999 to test ideas aimed at making fusion power practical and economical someday. Looking ahead, what we want to have in the future is smaller, simpler magnetic field structures, and that's where NSTX comes in. It obtains very good plasma parameters, but now with much lower magnetic fields. The Energy Department recently renewed its commitment to this project, opening the way for major technical upgrades. In the core of NSTX, they have what are called uh, central components, which are magnets there. What you do is you can remove those. They're both basically bolted on. You take those out and replace them with a new design, which is a little bit wider. Uh, it'll have more copper in there and higher magnetic fields. By increasing the magnetic field, we'll be able to make hotter plasmas with much higher pressures and study the physics of that. Physicist Rich Haraluk, who headed the TFTR project and is involved with ITER, another large tokamak-style reactor to be built in France, says NSTX offers complementary strengths. At the end of the day, there may be some kind of hybrid between the kind of machine NSTX is like and the kind of tokamaks that TFTR and ITER are like, but that's what we're trying to understand, the underlying science, so we can eventually use that to optimize the fusion process. Patrick Regan, NJN News, Plainsboro.